welcome back now let's go and work further so below this container as you guys know already first we just show the image URL okay as you guys can see right in the circle avatar now right in here what I'll do we will say title and text widget right in here and right in there we are about to show the username okay right after the user image so in here we will say widget dot username now let's do some set max lines for that so max line going to be 2 and right after we will set the overflow the overflow going to be text over flow dot ellipses there we go this will just handle the visual overflow and we have already used that before so let's move further now and do some style for that so in here as usual text style right in there first we will set the font weight let's set it to font weight dot bold and right down in here let's set the color color is gonna be white just white in here add the constant modifier so we have successfully implemented the code for showing the username now right down below this text we will say subtitle and you will have a column widget okay right in the column widget first we will set some properties cross axis alignment you will set this to star so cross axis alignment dot start and now we will set the main axis alignment let's set it to main axis alignment we will set it to start and below this we're gonna have a children right in the children we'll have a text widget we are about to show the text it is gonna be simply for visit profile so in here comma and tag this down scroll it in here string and let's have that text in here it's going to be simply visit profile let's set the next line to 2 and right after you will set the overflow in here text overflow dot ellipses we do some style as usual text style you will just set the color so in here color you go with the colors dot gray in here comma and let's scroll down and below this column in here we will say trailing icon burden now right inside that widget we'll have icon in here comma and tag this down so let's have that icon in here it is going to be simply icons mail outline one mail lot i'll go with the first one okay that is fine in here comma now we will set the size for that it's going to be simply 30 and right after let's set the color for that so we will go with the colors dot gray that is fine in here provide the colon okay so the error will be gone that is fine now in here I can button and now it's gonna take the on press event so in here on press event and for now on we will leave this empty and we will work on that in a while now now let's provide the const modifier to that and also to this icon so the yellow line will be gone then there we go now as you guys can see we left that on press even empty and now we will simply go and create a method it is going to be simply for the mail to okay so whenever as you guys can see that mail icon okay right in here 
whenever the user will press on that icon it's going to simply take the user right to the mail too okay it's going to send the user right to the mail so that's why in here it is going to take the on press and now we will implement a method for that and we will call upon that method right in this on press event so let us go above the widget build widget build above that right in here we will say white we're gonna name this first we will make that private and we name this as a mail to as I told you in here parenthesis and this is going to be asynchronous so in here async curly braces take this down first we will create a variable by the name of mail url now what we will assign in here first we will say mail to and write it and send colon now write inside that string with that provide the colon and then dollar sign and then call the braces right inside that we will say widget and then we will provide the user email okay that is fine right in here now we will simply print in here string and then we say widget then provide the user email so it's gonna simply print that and then we say right with this dollar sign Let's print the user email now. Okay, so in here user email, and then semicolon right at end. Then we're gonna also check if in here about since it's a asynchronous method. So in here about we will say can launch URL string that one. Okay, and. We will provide the URL string. It's going to be simply the mail URL, okay? That one, in which we just assign that right inside that mail URL, and in here we use it. So we're going to check that if can launch URL string, and then what we will do in here curly braces. Only in that cast we will say have it, and just launch a URL string, okay? mail url and write it and semicolon in here let me tell you one more time if it can launch the url string then right in this case only then we will launch a url string okay with the mail url now write in else if this cannot launch a url string then write in else what we will do you will simply print a message and it's going to be error error and semicolon and we will throw first in your semicolon and write in the string now you will say error occur that is fine so there's all the working of a mail to method i hope you can get the idea now and let's go down now mail to icon and there will be the on press event in here just call upon that method so we will say now to method and call upon that right it and semicolon so that is fine so we are done with all of the design that we just implemented as you guys can see right in here right in the old worker widget you guys will notice the output whenever we will get the data retrieve it from the firebase fire store okay and we will test the app you guys will notice that right in here that design i will just come back right to the screen and explain it one more time but first we will retrieve the data and get it from the firebase and then we will test the app okay right at that time so for now on i have explained this in detail and i hope you can get the idea and basically that's it for this video and what I'll do now, I'll just simply just close that all workers widget, close that dart file. We will go back right to the search companies dot dart, and there we go search companies dot dart. It's right inside that search. There we go search companies dot dart. Okay, we are back in here.
so that in the next video we will retrieve and get the data right from the firebase so see you in the next one